This was meant to be my start. You know, me and Paul, we're, we're board gamers and we always go to the shops or we go to Board Game Geek and we see these war games. And it's a huge section of the hobby that we know nothing about. And we just want to learn. Yeah? So I, I emailed GMT Games and I asked for a copy of Virgin Queen, which is, you know, new and it's meant to be amazing. It's pan-European politics during the reign of Elizabeth I. Um, you know, you can have wars and you can have marriages between players. You, you, you can hire Shakespeare. Yeah? You can hire Shakespeare. And I remember receiving the box and I was... And it said, GMT have their own complexity rating on the back. And it was complexity 6 out of 9. <laughs> I didn't think that sounded like much. So I invited the full the full six players around and it was just a f disaster so here's the deal this game is... it's history. It's not just a simulation of history, it is history. Everything is happening. You have wars between the Ottoman and the French and the Protestants and the English and the Spanish. You have the Spanish colonies, you have piracy happening over here. You have... you have additional boards covering espionage and marriages and scientists and diplomatic influence of every nation on every other nation. You have the cost of the different nations all going to war with one another, all of which with their own rules. You have more stuff still. You have a massive deck of event cards, all of which fascinating little happenings that change the game. Every single side has its own rules. Every single... the game... Let's see if we can find the, uh, the chart. The chart. The chart that lists turn order. Yeah. I'll just hold that up for you there. The turn order that we just... that we just... that just happens and then doesn't, doesn't really stop. It doesn't stop ever. It's wonderful, and it's not, it's... Um, so I spent eight hours learning this game. Eight hours. But it was worth it, and I invited my friends around, I did, and then, and then what happened was they started asking me really difficult questions about, about, uh, about whether ships in a city that's under siege can leave, and what marriage festivity points are, I just, I just didn't know. And the game slowed to a crawl as we all cross-referenced the manual and everyone asked questions about every other bit of the game. And it took us three hours to finish the first turn. Three hours. Of seven turns. And I still don't know how to play. So, you mentioned the rules weren't the whole problem. No. Okay, so the problem is that it's it's a it's a war game, you know, and that means it's it's a simulation. So like unlike most games, it's it's not interested in being intuitive, which means it's not enough for everybody to know the rules. It's like okay, so Paul has this trick, right? Where, where when he starts uh, explaining a game for the first time, he tells people that you know it, the first thing he always tells people is who they are and what they're trying to do and how they do that. So like we're playing Cosmic Encounter and we're all aliens, and we we have to conquer the galaxy by winning fights. You know, done. The Virgin Queen, it's like, okay, you're the Ottoman Empire, or you're Spain, and, uh, and you need victory points. And how do you gain those? And the answer is, you have to conquer keys, or you can win foreign wars, or you can patronize artists, or you can fund sciences, or you can commit piracy, or you can, uh, you can, you can start colonies, or you can pursue a religious victory, or, or your own faction-specific victory, or other things. That's... So it's like people didn't know how to play, and and then I realised that nobody was having fun. You know, by the, by the time we'd finished our first turns, we some people had messed up their first turns so colossally that they just they just didn't want to play anymore. And and then what happened? Um, I tried to be the hero. I um, I said let's go out for takeout, and then when we got home. I said, let's play catacombs, and I got some booze out, and and I said, I, I said catacombs because it, it's it's just the most fun, and um, 
it, it's 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 grounded in in the laws of physics, which means that it's it's intuitive because humans have an an understanding of physics. See, listen to me. I I'm good at this stuff, and I couldn't I couldn't play Virgin Queen. You know what happened? Come with me. Come with me. Let me show you. So all my friends were leaving the house, right? I I basically just disappointed them, and and as as I led. As they're all going out the front door, my friend Tom, right, he, he, uh, he stops and he says, because he's seen there's a tutorial game in the, in the manual, and he says, if you're free any, any weeknight this week, I'll, I'll come over and we can play the tutorial game together and we'll learn this. And he, he said this because he told me that he could see the beautiful game inside Virgin Queen. He could see it too. And I realised that one day, I'm, I'm going to play this game, and I'm going to understand it, but it's not going to be today. And, and just, yeah, just, just let this be a warning to you, you know, if you, if you want to experiment with war games, then just, just do your homework first. Don't end up like me. Goodbye, everybody. Um. Queens, I actually... actually need to let back into the house. Um, it's the wrong key.